everyone, it's me again. Why did I do that? What is this? Anyway, today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys featuring exclusively the Milk Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack. Oh, this thing's so good. Uh, I was really battling with myself as to which of the stacks I should do a tutorial for first. So I asked on Facebook what you guys wanted to see and overwhelmingly you wanted to see a neutral, grungy look and boo-boo, I got you. This is the look we're gonna be doing today. Very grungy, very smoky. Uh, I also talk a lot about blending and how to blend and that sort of stuff. Um, so I hope you guys learn a lot today. And if you want to figure out how to get this grungy 90s smoky brown look, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, okay, let's get started. I've already done one eye so you can kind of see the direction in which this look is going, although this eye definitely did not turn out the way I expected it to. I'm glad I did it off camera because legit I was here with a makeup wipe and, you know, doing things and redoing things and redoing things and I just now got it to the point where it looks kind of passable. But first of all, I already did my eyebrows, that whole thing. Y'all don't need to see that because my brow game is not strong today. So first I'm gonna take Blur from the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack and I'm gonna use this as a base shadow all over the place. This is just to kind of set the primer we've got going on because we used the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer which is very, very sticky so it needs a kind of powdery base to set it and it's gonna hopefully make blending a lot easier later. We're going to go in with our transition shade of sorts and that's going to be Unseen from the Melt Dark Matter stack and we're gonna put this in the crease blending upward into kind of the upper crease area. Okay, looks good. Now for the fun part, the dark. For our deepest, darkest outer V color, I'm using Enigma from the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack. This thing is intense, I will warn you now. Um, this color is dark, it is red, and it is intense. So as you can plainly see on my other eye. So we're mainly focusing this on the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna kind of knock some of the excess product off on the back of my hand. Start light and build up. That's part of what my problem was over here. I went a little too heavy and particularly with red eyeshadow, it can be a bitch to blend. So we're gonna build up the pigment on the outer corner of the eye and then we're gonna kind of blend it up into the crease. And you're focusing a lot right out here because that's where you want most of the pigment to live. Because the rest is gonna be kind of blended into the center and it's not gonna be as intense. It's funny because a lot of, you know, makeup artists act like they know what they're doing, but a lot of makeup from my experience anyway has been pure dumb luck. I'm gonna take my little Sonia Kashuk 116 brush and I'm gonna kind of start to, you know, blend that a little bit. And we're sort of, we're pulling this color into the crease so it's a lot less intense in the inner part of the crease and we're blending it up into Unseen blurring out any of those harsh edges. We're going to basically be doing the same thing over and over and over again in that we're going to be placing and blending and placing and blending and placing and blending over and over and over until you're happy with the depth of your eye. Now you could technically stop here and in my Instagram photo this is pretty much where I stopped but since my other eye is already so dark and intense and like ugh, um, I want to kind of match the two in intensity at the very least so I'm just gonna keep knocking off the excess product here and keep placing and blending and placing and blending until I'm happy with the level of darkness. This is the part that most makeup artists or makeup youtubers cut out of their tutorials because it's blending and blending takes forever. Thank you. 
So now that you're placed and blended and placed and blended and the darkest part is where you want it to be, um, we're gonna go back in with my Sonia Kashuk 109 and my Unseen color and we're gonna start to blend the edges of that. We're just taking a tiny, tiny little bit of Unseen, not that much at all. And we're just blending the edges of Enigma very carefully. And this is just going to keep warming up that dark red color. So this eye is pretty much turning out like how I wanted this one to, which is a good sign. So we're just softening up those edges. And now we're going to go back into the base shadow brush we used at the very beginning that has blur on it. I might add a little bit more blur if you want to. You don't have to add too much. And then we're just gonna go right up by the brow bone and in teeny tiny circular motions, blur out those edges even more. Get it? And if you want to, if you got a little bit too crazy out here, you can use your blending shade to clean up that edge because this edge is kind of looking a little bit sharp, except for that one, which is looking busted right now. Oh my God, my eye started watering uncontrollably and just like, everything disappears from that outer corner when my eyes water. So we're gonna take more of that blur shade and we're gonna put it on the part of the lid that we've left blank so far, just to kind of reestablish that lid and bring it into the rest of the look. This is looking absolutely much better so far. So the eyeshadow is looking relatively similar and now we're gonna get into the tricky part, the part that I really fucked up on on this eye, which is the eyeliner. Now, the first time I did this eyeliner, I used the Milani um, Liquid Eyes, yeah, Liquid Eye Eyeliner Pencil in brown, which I normally love, but it smudged out a little bit too much and I ended up with like, ugh, so much eyeliner all over my eye and it was just, a mess. I ended up going back and like wiping all the eyeliner off with a makeup wipe and using the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Corrupt and that ended up working out a lot better. I'm probably gonna end up doing that again. I just moved my mirror down. Y'all know the drill. You're looking down into the mirror and that way I can see my entire upper lash line and we're doing thick on the outside, thinner on the inside. Y'all know how this works. Oh, there goes the eye watering. <laughs> God, this is like playing golf. I'm like, I need total silence. Ugh. So, okay, if you get eyeliner on your lid anyway, despite using a light hand, like you blink or something, don't panic. Just take a little smudgy brush and kind of blur it out and you can replace it with your blending shade later. And remember, this is a very grungy look, so if you fuck up a little bit, that's okay. Oh, okay. Whew, that was a struggle, <laughs> but we did it. Gonna go back in with blur and reestablish the lid now that we've got that liner on. Now I am gonna have to add a little more eyeliner to make one eye look like the other eye because I don't even have mascara on yet and it looks like I have mascara on this eye, so. Where's my little smudger brush? There it is. So I've got this cute little uh, smudger brush from Sephora. I got it in like a random little travel kit and I'm just smudging that liner a little bit. Top liner is done. Now we're gonna start on the lower lash line. Now the lower lash line was another tough part for me because I really did not know what to do. Um, red eyeshadow on the lower lash line can look really harsh. It can look like you're sick. Um, which I definitely didn't want, but I also wanted to bring that warmth a little. 
So I literally sat here for like 15 minutes wondering what to do and how to fix it. So I'm gonna start with my liner. See, it's nice and sharp now. So I'm gonna take it on the outside of my eye and sort of do the waterline most of the way in and then do the lash line just on the very back end of this. So that's done, looks like that. And we're gonna smudge this out. So we're gonna take our little teeny tiny itty bitty adorable smudger brush and I'm gonna take Unseen first. This was a very crucial step that I missed the first time and I ended up having to correct it a bunch. So tap the fuck off of it and we're gonna take Unseen and we're gonna blend out the initial liner with Unseen first. Just putting this on that lower lash line and we're gonna blend down a little further than you normally would because you can always correct this with a makeup wipe if you fuck up, which I did the first time, so don't feel bad at all about blending downward a good bit. So now that our lower lash line is sort of established, we're gonna go back in with Enigma. Now, with Enigma, you have to be very careful on the lower lash line because this thing is intense. So, I'm gonna rub out my smudger brush, take a little tiny, tiny bit of Enigma, teeny tiny, and on the very outer edge up by the lash line, we're just gonna wiggle that on the very outside edge. <sighs> See, this is so much easier when I film. I just should film everything I do. Uh, we're gonna go back in with our base shadow brush and blur, surprise, surprise, and we're gonna go beneath where we put all that unseen and all that enigma and just blend it out. And I'm actually gonna tweak this lower lash line on the other side a little bit just so it looks more like this one because I like this one better. So yeah, I'm probably not going to delight you guys with me fixing my fuck-ups over here. So I'll just see you guys in a few minutes. And we're back. Sorry, I kind of left you guys for a few minutes there. I wanted to kind of adjust this eye so it looked a little bit more like this eye. They're still not completely the same, but you know, it's grunge. Grunge is all about like rebellion and, you know, basically breaking any makeup trends that there may have been. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara. This is my L'Oreal Telescopic. And I realized kind of while I was adjusting my other eye that I never put mascara on this eye. All right, so yeah. Um, I opted, the last time I did this look, I opted to not use falsies, just because, I mean, false lashes are great, but for grunge looks, they really don't work because, you know, grunge as a fashion technically didn't use false lashes. I mean, they didn't really, they were kind of too lazy to use false lashes, and so was I that day. I'm gonna go ahead and go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Hey again, I am back with the finished look. Now, the last time I did this look, I didn't um, do any foundation or any face makeup at all, but I felt like doing my foundation today, and I had the toughest fucking time finding a lip for this, because I really wanted like a brown lip, but since I personally don't really... I'm skeptical about lime crime, but that's a whole nother video. Like, ideally, I'd use like the Salem Velveteen type chocolatey brown um, lip color, but I, after what I've been hearing about lime crime, I really don't want to support them financially until I've done more research. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of lime crime? Leave the stuff down below, because I've heard a lot of really negative things and I'm just not sure about them. 
and I tried all of the vampy lip options I had. None of them looked right, so I opted for Nude Embrace by Maybelline's Creamy Matte Lipstick Line. Um, I've been really liking this nude, even though it makes me look kind of dead. I figure for a grudge look, that's kind of the point. Plus, if you mix this with a pinkier nude, it almost looks like Lime Crime's Cashmere Velveteen. I'm not kidding. But, um, yeah, let's do some awkward posing. Awkward posing. Awkward posing. So awkward posing. I went ahead and wore the same thing that I did in the photo on Instagram, which is a beanie that I got from, what company is this from? I can't actually remember. Oh, this beanie is by Oakley. I got it in a sporting goods store out in, you know, Japan land. And I got this flannel. It's actually like a flannel and co flannel shirt. I got it from a thrift store in Japan for like $6. And then I'm also wearing my Thank You for the Venom t-shirt, which I got in a My Chemical Romance uh, Greatest Hits album bundle. R.I.P. Um, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something interesting today. Um, but I'll go ahead and post my video for the review up there so you can see it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, watch all my other videos, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!